Hey class, welcome back. This is your favorite math teacher, Mr. Paredes. And for today's video, this will be covering module two, lesson two, markups and discounts, All right? This will be for your work from pages 63 through page 70. It'll help you with all those assignments, All right? Hopefully, um, that is the plan. So this video in particular, we will be covering the step it out portion of this lesson, which is pages 63 through 65, task one through three. So let's go ahead and get started. But first, let's look at some key terms. Markup is our first one. It is the amount of increase in a price. The markup rate is similar to percent increase, but more specific to selling items. The next one is retail price. It is the amount an item is sold for after a company adds the markup. The last key term for this lesson is markdown. It is the amount of decrease in a price. All right, so let's look at task one on page 63. Music Enterprise buys digital downloads of music albums for $5. This $5 is called the cost. The markup rate is 30%. How much will you pay for an album not including tax? Part A, the markup rate is 30%. All right, that's what it says in the question. As a decimal, we would write that as 0.3. And to get 30% into a decimal form, I would take 30 divided by 100, right? Any percentage divided by 100, and that'll give you its decimal form, okay? So 0 0.3 is in decimal form. The original amount or cost is $5, right? Because that's what it tells us right here. Part C, calculate the amount of the markup, add it to the cost. So I want to take 0 0.3 and multiply it to the cost, which was $5. Now, when we multiply that, we get 1.5. So the markup amount is $1.50. Okay. Now for part D, it says calculate the retail price after markup. So we're gonna take our original price, right? Which was $5. And I wanna add 30%, which was $1.50. And when we combine those, we get $6.50. So the retail price is $6.50 or $6.50, all right? This whole process right here is just like we did in lesson 2.1, right? Where we found the percent of our original and then added it or we subtract it depending on what the new whether it's an increase or decrease. In this case, it's an increase of 30%. So we found 30% of $5 and added it to the original amount to find our new price. All right, so let's look at part E. Write the ratio of the retail price to the cost of the download. Express this ratio as a percent. All right, so I want to take my $6.50, right, over $5, because that is the retail over the cost. When I divide these, I will get 1.3, right? And if I multiply that by 100, that would give me the percentage, which is 130%, right? Because it's 30% mark, it's marked up 30% from the original cost, which was 100%. So the retail price after markup is 130%. Of the cost so in other words 
the original amount plus the markup equals retail. So 100% plus 30% equals 130%. All right, so we're just continuing with task one here. And it says, after New Year's Day, Music Enterprise marks down their retail prices as shown. What will be the new retail price after this markdown? So I know I have a markdown of 40%, all right? Now the retail price, we found that out and that was $6.50. And the markdown is 40%. So now on to the next part, part G, calculate the amount of markdown. So I need to find 40% of $6.50. Now remember, I'm just dividing this by 100 to get my decimal, right? So 0 0.4 times $6.50, and that would give me 2.6, which is two dollars and sixty cents okay now from here we're gonna subtract it from the retail price right so I'm gonna take six dollars and fifty cents and subtract 260 and we have the new discounted price at three dollars and ninety cents all right so let's look at task number two on page 64 you can also use equations to solve problems involving markups, markdowns, and discounts. Penelope buys bracelets in bulk at a cost of $8 each to sell at her store. She uses a markup rate of 125%, which is added to the bracelet cost. What is the retail price of a bracelet? So part A, the markup rate is 125%. The markup rate in decimal form would be 125 divided by 100, which is 1.25. Now, for part B, it says the equation M equals, and we're going to use that rate, 1.25x gives the markup amount M in dollars for, bra for the bracelets in terms of the original cost X in dollars. So M just equals what the markup mark amount is, and X is the original cost, and it's all in dollars. Part C, use the equation to find the markup amount for a bracelet. So we have M equals, and we're gonna use that same rate of 1.25, and we're going to multiply it to the, the cost, which was $8. When we multiply these together, we get 10. So that means the markup amount is 10. And it's in dollars, so the markup amount is $10. Now, part D, it wants us to calculate the retail price of the bracelet. So that's going to be cost plus markup equals retail price. Well, I know the cost was $8. The markup is $10. When we add those together, $18. So that means the retail price is $18. For part E, the markup amount is, and it's 1.25X, an equation for the retail price Y in dollars in terms of the original amount x in dollars is and it's going to be y equals and we have a 1x because that represents the eight dollars right that the original cost was 100 percent and then we have 1.25x which represents the markup and when we combine those we get 2.25x all right and this is because we're over 100%. That's why the price more than doubled, right? 
because we went over by another 125% of the original cost. All right, so continuing with task two, Penelope marked down the price of necklaces in her store as shown. Find the markdown rate of the sale price. All right, so looking at this price tag here, it was $25, now it's $22. So part F, it says, write the ratio of the sale price to the original retail price. Express the ratio as a percent. So I wanna take the sale price, which was $22, I'm going to put it over the retail price of $25. Now, when I divide this, I get 0 0.88. Okay. Now, as a percentage, I would multiply this by 100 to get my percent, which is 88%. Another way to think about it is in money, in terms of money. So if that was $0.88, if I set it as cents, it would be 88 cents, right? So that's another way of looking at it. But when you have your decimal, um, we're just multiplying it by 100 because remember, it's 88 hundredths. That's what that decimal is. So 88 over 100, which was 88%, okay? So that was just another way of thinking um, are trying to think about converting your decimals to percentages, right? And going back the other way. So back to the problem. Part G, think of the original retail price of the necklace as 100%. How does the sale price compare to the retail price of the necklace? What does this tell you about the markdown rate? So the way to think about it is 100% is the retail price, right? And if we subtract the 88%, we know it's 12% less, right? The sale price is 12% less than the retail price. So that means the markdown rate is 12%. So part H, what is an equation in the form Y equals KX that relates the sale price to the retail price X. Well, we know the rate is 0 0.88. So we would plug that in for K. That's our constant of proportionality. Like we covered in the previous lessons. So let's look at task three on page 65. A sporting goods store uses a markup of 87.5% for baseball bats. What is the price the store should display for a baseball bat with an original cost of $40? So part A, use words to complete the equation you should use to find the amount of the markup. Well, we want markup, right? Equals the percent times the original cost. of the bats, all right? So part B, because the store marks up the original cost, the price will increase, right? It's gonna be more, it's not gonna be less. And the percent change is 87.5%. For part C, it wants us to write an equation that gives the retail price Y of a bat with an original cost of X, right? And X is in dollars. So just like we did in task two, I have one X, cause that represents the original cost. And we have the markup, which is 87.5%. So we wanna divide that by a hundred, right? So I wanna go 87.5% divided by a hundred and that gives us 0 0.875 X. Now, when we add these together, we get 1.875, okay? Now for part D, 
it says to find the price the, that the store should display substitute and it's forty dollars right the original cost so instead of forty dollars we're going to substitute forty dollars for x in the equation in part c all right so with this equation i know it's y equals 1.875 x that's what they're talking about so i want to plug in 40 for that x y equals 1.875 times 40. okay now when we multiply 1.875 times 40 we should get 75 so that means they're going to display a price of $75. All right, everyone. So that's it for markups and discounts. So if this video was helpful, make sure you like it. Click like on the bottom there. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, right? So you can be there, uh, get notifications for any new videos that come out. All right. Also, don't forget to complete and submit all your work, right? Better to stay on top of those things. Until next time, you guys take care.